Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today I'm gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Jordan 1 Low Premium. Okay, so this is the Jordan 1 Low Premium box which is right here. It's got the gold jump man on the front. So I managed to get my hands on these through a website called Size Launches. It's based in the UK, I believe. I'm not sure if they're international. It's basically a way of getting access to sneakers that are upcoming. They have loads of raffles. It's kind of like every other website, but they did have these Jordan 1 Low Premiums two weeks before everyone else. Although technically I won the raffle two weeks early, it did take 10 days to arrive, so not a great start from size. Okay, so let's not waste any more time. Let's just get straight into the unboxing. So at the top we have some tissue paper which has a gold 23 on the top of it. And then underneath that we have the Jordan 1 Low Premiums. This is the Jordan 1 Low Premium in the University Red, White and Metallic Silver. You could also get, I think, a black, white and sale version, which also released at the same time. I went for this colorway for a few different reasons. Overall, I just thought the colors looked better. But also, besides that, the toe box is leather on this particular colorway. On the other colorway, it's actually suede, so not really keen on the suede element of the other sneaker. So this particular sneaker actually draws inspiration from the Nike Air Tailwind that was an older release in a very similar kind of colorway. Uh, that was called the Night Track. And uh, yeah, you can see that there are definitely similarities in the colors, but overall this is obviously a different silhouette, but you can see that they are somewhat related. Okay, so to talk about the sneaker in detail, you have an all black outer sole and then a very sort of bog standard white midsole with white stitching. Moving to the upper, you then have a combination of the silver, the red and the white. You have this very, very nice, silver finish to the toe box area, which almost looks like kind of a, an oyster or shell effect, which I really like. That color is also seen on the heel of the sneaker too, or the back of the shoe. You then have the really nice red leather swoosh, which goes all the way around the outer to the inside. And then you have a really nice red detail around the ankle area, which is in red, which really just sort of sets off the colorway really nicely. For me overall, I think the colors work really well. Um, I like the combinations of colors and the materials used in the sneaker. I think that it stands out quite nicely and I think it's gonna be quite easy to wear. This week it is so hot in the UK, so I've had to put my fan on just to cool down. Uh, it's too hot with all these lights on inside on like 34, 35 degree days. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking about the sneaker and start putting it on my feet and giving you guys a couple of different looks and styles. I would love to hear what you think, so please drop me a comment down below. This is labeled as a Jordan 1 Low Premium and you do get that premium finish and feel to it. The materials used, the detail, the stitching, it, it all looks premium. It looks like a sneaker that should be worth three or 400 pounds. Uh, the reality is that the retail for this, I believe on Nike is coming out at about 99 pounds. Um, I purchased this for 115 pounds through size. I'm not sure why it's more expensive. I don't think these sneakers are going to be difficult to get hold of. Uh, they should be a relatively easy cop. You can already see them loaded onto the Nike website. They're not reselling for very much on websites like StockX and Goat. Uh, I think they're pretty much what they're selling at retail, um, if not maybe 10 
10 or 20 pounds more, but besides that, it's an easy cop. In terms of comfort and sizing, this is true to size, so just go for your normal Nike sizing and you'll have no problems whatsoever. But yeah, overall, just really, really keen on this silhouette, this colorway, the sneaker, and I would encourage you to try and buy a pair if you can. These release on the 14th of August, um, so if you're able to cop a pair, go for it. Okay, so that's it for me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, then please drop me a comment and a like down below. It means the absolute world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.